This is a Diamondback DB15, DB15. This is one of the first ones that came out. Has the aluminum rail right here on the top with an aluminum handguard. And this is floating stainless steel barrel with your simple birdcage flash hider. And it came with one 30 round magazine, which is decent, but not, you know, not the best, of course. Mag pulls, I would, I would put a mag pull in here better and it won't be as sloppy. But it works. I mean, it works. This particular um, AR doesn't have many rounds through it, maybe 200, 250, if that. Uh, here's your simple... Fire and safe. Um, you know, just it's it's your, it's your bare basics. I don't know what else I could say about it, but it's a, it's a basic AR, which is a really good, inexpensive starter AR. If somebody wants a nice AR that performs well, it doesn't um, have any problems really. I mean, it's not the best, of course. Um, a lot of the parts and you know the trigger assembly uh, is just your standard trigger assembly military spec you know probably again not the best but it's it's there it works um, if you read online because I read a lot about these but I also owned a couple uh, they really perform well um, every once in a blue moon you hear one of them either the trigger would break uh the handle uh, or actually the the handle here but it's pretty durable i mean it's not again it's not the best you could put a mag pull handle on here um if you want to upgrade just a little bit more um it has an assist the bolt assist which is not bad you know i'm sure the springs are not top of the line uh but again you can replace all that if you want this is 775 or 7075 uh, lower and upper, I believe is 7075. Um, so it's technically it's pretty decent again, but for the money you pay for it, you, you, I think you get what you pay for it and then some. Uh, but if you want to spend another four, five, six hundred dollars on a better one, of course you're going to get better internals and stuff. Um, this has a Roger stock adjustable collapse you know it goes I can't do it right now but in and out like this so and then you lock it like that now it is unloaded again all my fires are firearms are unloaded but this comes loose to lock you know and then every once in a while you have to take a penny or a dime or something and just tighten that just a hair you don't want to tighten it too tight then you won't be able to pull this stock completely out or you won't be able to lock it so you have to have it a little bit loose. Uh, again, I would switch the magazine to a Magpul or a, um, uh, what's the other one? I can't remember the other one. But my, my uh, brain right now is just kind of yuck. Um, barrel, of course, is stainless. I mean, it, it's, it's a decent, it's a heavy barrel. But it's a very light, light AR and it handles really well. Um, See if I can pull this. So, got your 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 nice dust co um, cover on here, you know, and uh, which is really cool. But again, it has your upper upper uh, rail, which you can add your different sights, your red dots, or your flip ups uh, steel sights, or whatever you want to do. You know, you can spend anywhere from thirty dollars all the way up to two three hundred dollars if you want for some good sites but i think the standard flip up sites are good or a regular 75 dollar red dot or something uh, which would be nice I, I do have a used one i put on here um, but other than that i just wanted to make a short video of what i think of them and the diamondback db15 are very very good ars and especially for the money uh, I do have a stag, and I think I have a couple more. Uh, the stag I really like, but 
I do like this too. So I, I, but the stag, of course, is better than this Diamondback. But it still is going to give you performance. Um, if something breaks, it's going to be out of the ordinary, and you might be handling it too hard or shooting some hot loads in it really fast. And you know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to shoot like you know 500 rounds, you know, within a, two seconds. You know, but. Um, uh, if you want to upgrade it, like I said, just change out the uh, triggers or trigger parts. Uh, the, the bolt has a standard military spec bolt. Put a better bolt in. You can upgrade this rifle. It'll cost you another three, dollars $400 easy um, to make this a little bit better in parts uh, for your performance so, and for your peace of mind, I guess. So there you go. Diamondback. DB15, and if anything goes wrong, trigger breaks, whatever, hey, you just get in touch with Diamondback down in Florida there, and they will give you the parts, or you send it back to them, and they will be happy to take care of it, and they are 100% guaranteed uh, for life, and that's one good thing about Diamondback, and they really don't make bad firearms. I have a couple of the Diamondback pistols. And the only thing with those is you have to polish the uh, feed ramp. Really polish the hell out of them. And once you do that, put a little bit of oil, some lubrication. They perform very, very well. The DB9, um, the little 380, they, they, they perform excellent, excellent pistols. Uh, and they're very reasonable. Um, the S, or not the SSCY. I'm talking about the Diamondback, I'm sorry. And... Um, Guaranteed. Anything breaks, boom. They'll give you parts. No questions asked. You don't have to cry to them. You just say, hey, it broke. Boom. They'll send you the parts within a week or so. Or send the complete firearm down. So there you go. Nice little AR-15. Uh, Diamondback. And again, it's, it's a nice, nice starter AR. Which you can add a lot of different... Um, things to it you know and to make it custom you know put a pull a split rail down here you know and you can add your flashlights and stuff okay see ya